Hello and welcome to Michael Pepper Tech. Today in this video I am going to show some tips on using the second display on the LG Wing and cover some things that other people may have not covered. And if you find this helpful in any way, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into this. So first of all, I want to show you here, if you're watching a video and let's say you need to adjust the volume real quick. So one of the complaints was trying to get to the buttons on the side underneath the display here. You can swipe down and right down there, you'll see there's a volume slider so you can move the volume up and down. Same thing with the brightness. And another great feature is if you're holding the phone in your hand, and let's say you don't want to accidentally bump something on this display, there's this icon right here with a lock. You hit it and it goes into this grip mode. After a few seconds here, you'll see the screen kind of goes darker. And now I can touch it all I want and it doesn't do anything. Tap this to turn it off. Another great feature of this is this button right, this icon right here, which turns it into a trackpad. And this trackpad also has gestures like pinching to changing the size of the video. You can swipe up from the bottom Well, you can swipe back like that, swipe up from the bottom to go to the task switcher, swipe sideways with two fingers to switch between things, swipe up again to go home when you're in the carousel again, use two fingers to go between two things. Let's say I am on Twitter you can use two fingers to scroll as well. Those are just some tips on the trackpad and a few tips on how to change the volume and the brightness if you're in an app. Now I'll show you real quick. If I open the camera, you'll see that they have specific functions as well. And I'll get into more of those when I cover the camera specific things. But I hope that some of those tips at least helped you kind of see here so you can change your volume without having to close the device or kind of fumble around to reach those buttons on the side, using it in the grip lock mode and as a trackpad. And I will get into more of those specific trackpad functions in another video and the camera functions in another video. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos on the LG Wing and other devices. Thank you and have a wonderful day.